happy they were uh, when, when the final buzzer went. Coach Giuliano Oliviero has fond memories of the Wave winning a championship a year ago. Being able to hoist that trophy, I, that's why you play the game and, and just the, the look in their eyes and and seeing them hug their family and friends. I mean, that's what you live for as an athlete, I think. Team captain Ian Bennett also disappointed the Wave won't be able to defend their title. We can't play, we can't We can't get it done, we can't talk to the haters, we can't play with the other teams and actually let's play against them, but we kind of got to do it with our mouth and our social media. You know, I felt like we were really close to where we needed to be at the right time and, and all of a sudden uh, the pandemic hit and, and here we are not being able to defend our title. COVID-19 also affecting the players' paychecks and future soccer camps. I'm crossing my fingers. We hopefully have camps, even if we have to do some, we have to wear gloves and masks and everything. You got to be safety first. And to have future games here at the arena without fans in the stands would be different for the Milwaukee Wave players. I mean, that's just tough, man. I think, man, that's what gets you going. I mean, that's what you perform, right? So you, you, you want to show up for the fans. Max lays it off, Ian settles, shoots, and he scores! The goal of the wave, stay safe and be back on the field soon. Just make sure uh, we prepare and, and come back next year stronger. In downtown Milwaukee, Stephanie Sutton, WISN 12 Sports.